From San Francisco's fabulous Fillmore, HBO presents One Night Stand, starring Dom Herrera. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dom Herrera. Thank you, God bless you, I love you, you are beautiful. Before I go into my hilarious comment routine, before I weave that special magic which must and should immediately be woven, I would like to talk to you as a real me, not one of these bullshit comedy characters you see so much of. I love you. I hope to God you are happy, I hope you are healthy, I hope all of you are regular. I am serious. If you have to poop, go now and have the greatest, most collective comedy poop of your lives. <laughs> I'm not one of these vile or vulgar comedians. I say only cute words. Excuse me, I have to poop. Excuse me, I have to poop. <laughs> not I have to pinch a loaf, or to cup a squat, to roll some lugs, or to heave a Havana. <laughs> these are disgusting things, and I, I don't talk like that. Do you? I don't do you. I don't. I say, I have to poop, I have to pee. To poop and to pee. Excuse me, I have to pee. Excuse me, I have to pee. Hey, I gotta go. No, I'm not kidding now. Come on, open the door. I have to pee. Not I have to shake my monster. Or to drain my lizard. To squeeze the wheeze. To drain the vein. Or to choke the chicken. What kind of talk is this to chalk the chicken? I don't talk like that. Do you? I don't. Do you? I don't. You know, in the so-called society we have today, so-called society, they ruin even the most beautiful things in life, the most wonderful, the most, the most sensuous thing, which of course is to make love. To make love is such a beautiful thing, especially to do it with another person, huh? <laughs> Instead of one of those stupid dolls I wasted my money on, $25, all the oil squirting all over the room, that little cabbage patch slut. I can't believe what a waste of money that flat-faced, Babe Ruth master, little pig-faced, flaming, flapping little Bhutan was. <laughs> I spent the whole night with that doll, part of the next afternoon. The following summer, we rented a village in the mountains. Oh, how we laughed. We danced, we laughed. Not only could I not find a hole, not even a seam, not even a stinking little seam. I said, hey doll, give it up. Give it up, I'm a man, I'm in pain. Come on, you're only a doll, I'll buy you no legs. Why do they have to ruin, even to make love they ruin? The arrogant, the big mouth husband who is at work, Mr. Big Stuff, Mr. Macho. He says, excuse me, fellas, I have to go home to pork my wife. <laughs> what kind of talk is this to pork a person, a human being you are talking about, not a farm animal? <laughs> to booger my bed, to hump my honey, to lay some pipe, to hide the salami, to bury the bone, to stuff the donut, to moisten the wick. To shoot the sherbet, to slam the ham, to slap the monkey, to yodel in the canyon, to dine at the Y, to munch on the rug, to flag the dolphin, to beat the bishop, to smack little Johnny behind his little German helmet, to, you know, to do the five knuckle shuffle. What kind of talk is this? I don't talk like that. Do you? I'll never forget the night my grandmom and I wrote that bit. <laughs> oh, how we laughed and we danced. 
And the mountains and lounges all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, he just got back from working the Hut Bay Lounge in the Catskill Mountains. He killed, works all the major mountain ranges, Rockies, Andes, Urals, Poconos, Himalayas, kills. Kills in the Himalayas. Monks in Nepal are on the floor, even when they're not meditating. A big hand, Fritzy Anderson, lounge comedian. Thank you very much. Thank you very, 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 very much. You're too kind. You're too kind. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Please, no more. No, no, no. Please. I love you. You're beautiful. You're lower than whale shit. You're pond scum. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you call a dog with no legs? Nothing, no matter what you call him, he ain't coming. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. My uncle's got a great job. He sells bagels to midgets to use as toilet seats. Is this on? Is this thing on? You hear about the Polish carpool? They meet at work. Come on, folks. I know these jokes work. I heard other comedians do them. I love you, you're beautiful. You're lower than flea farts. You're bee balls. What do you call a Polish guy with a $500 hat? The Pope. Oh, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? I know you're out there. I can smell your German festive breath. Ladies and gentlemen, my message is love. My message is love. What do you call a Mexican hitchhiking? Stranded. Oh, lay. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you say to a black man in a three-piece suit? Will the defendant please rise? Is this a Is the sound system working with this so-called cable network? Hello? Hello? I love you. You're beautiful. You're lower than worm sperm. You're paramecium nipples. A man comes into my office. He says, can I use your dictaphone? I say, no, you use your finger like everybody else. Is this thing on? Is this? Get off your high horses. Come down off your exalted mat. What is this, an audience or an oil painting? What is this, Gary Gilmore's jewelry? What is this, Sirhan Sirhan's birthday party? What are you people, extras from the movie Coma? Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. What's worse than a lobster on your piano? Crabs on your organ, folks. I don't shoot rockets out of my ass. I got no dancing girls, just me and my words. What do you call a nun who walks in her sleep? Roman Catholic, get off your high horses. What do you call a nun with a sex change operation? Transistor, ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, you see, well, you see, the, the, the root of root was down the ridge. And my other brother knows about my cousin's other sister in law sister's other brother cousin had. And she said that the Mohag, Mojan, Momo, Bugaroo, the by the way. And I said, no bullshit, my face coming down the home blood, home hand, my pussy, my cousin Jerome, my Mohag, Momo, Bugaroo, the ridge, and shit and do. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's right, cause the man said the meat coming down the home blood, home hand, man, and Momo, Bugaroo, the ride, Rudy, shit and do. That's right, that's right, that's exactly what I said. Rudy Ridge. There's a guy all the way in the back there going, you know, I just don't understand what these people are laughing at. This is not right. You, mister. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to do my impression of Al Pacino from the fun family film Scarface. Please, I work very hard on this. It takes a great deal of concentration and a lot of talent, if I may. <laughs> Fuck you, mink. <laughs> you fucking hot I love those lips. He had those lips. Those little... Fuck. <laughs> like a grouper fish. Did you ever see those like, little Edward G. Robinson fish? It's sort of a little flat fish. Ma. Some aside, fin face. Nah, you mugs. Nah. Nah. Stop whistling. You're scaring me. Me, I love good music. I love good music. When I want to relax, when I just want to cool out, I go home, I whip out my Yoko Ono album. All the dogs in the neighborhood. I love those rock videos. You can see the rock stars starting to age now. Have you noticed Mick Jagger is starting to look like Don Knotts? <laughs> hey, but Keith Richards, God bless him, he looks great. Keith, how do you do it? How do you stay so pale and live? 
and live. That comedian timing, and live. I think Bruce Springsteen is a rock genius. The guy makes millions of dollars telling you what he did that day. Well, I got up this morning and I put on my shoes cause I didn't want to wear my sneakers. And I went outside and I bought myself a paper cause I really enjoy reading. Then I had some lunch cause I was hungry. Bruce, why didn't I think of this, man? That is brilliant. You believe James Brown? You believe this guy James Brown? He's, he's getting in trouble. He, he hit his wife. He's, he's like 60 years old. The man could never get away from the cops anyway. His steps are too small. Hey, you, come here. No! Gotta get away! Good guy! Woo! Gotta go! So I'm living in L.A. now. I got uh, L.A. and it's, this is a beautiful city. You got the best city in the world here and it's nice to be... It's... Yeah! I'm milking them. I'm milking them up here. I am. I'm milking. It really is. It's so funny being in California. In LA, they have these crosswalks. No light. You can walk out in the middle of the street, point to a car, and a car will stop. Hey, stop. You two, back up a little weed, dudes. <laughs> I lived in New York for 10 years. Imagine walking in, onto 8th Avenue. Yo, yo, stop. The cab driver would back up so he could hit you harder. I'll show you stop. Go ahead, lady. Put that poodle out there. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm working in Fort Lauderdale. I was relaxed, two weeks, coming back on a plane. You know how nice everybody is on a plane because they're afraid they'll die? Excuse me, pardon me, no, you go ahead. Don't worry about me. <laughs> as soon as we land, New York attitude. Pilot says, ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats till we get to the terminal. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> everybody starts throwing their bags on the floor. We're down, baby, we're down. Stewardess flips out, comes running up the aisle. Please, it's against federal regulation. You have to sit down. <laughs> we sit down. I'm sitting there thinking, really, what could they do? What are they going to do? Take off again? <laughs> okay, folks, you want to play games? We're up again. <laughs> now we'll show you turbulence. Hey, remember how to use those oxygen masks? We'll be good. We'll be good. Oh, God, please, down. Turbulence is frightening. I don't understand people that go to amusement parks. I spend most of my time trying not to be nauseous or dizzy. Excuse me, could you strap me in upside down? Yes, I'd like to be as sick as humanly possible. I was wondering, what is it? You wake up one morning, you go, you know, I feel great today. I really feel great. I think I'll go down to Funland and snap my neck on the back of a rod. <laughs> Honey, let's bring the kids. We can get them a spinal cord injury for Christmas. Come on. Everybody I love, I, I want being shot through a tunnel in the dark 200 miles an hour. Come on. I don't like flying. The only thing cool about flying, it sounds cool. I gotta go because I'm jet now. Yeah, I'd like to stay, but I gotta go because I got a jet, babe. <laughs> Three different levels of transportation. Jet, train, and bus. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No way you can slick it on a bus. Here's my bus, Tiki. I'm on a bus, can't eat, can't read, can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know how romantic it sounds? Yeah, babe, I really love you. I'm jetting you to the coast. What are you going to say on a bus? I really dig you. I'm busing you to Buffalo. Here, <laughs> sit on a bus for 800 hours and bob, because I love you. I'm on a bus. <laughs> You know what they have now? You know they have frequent flyers? Now they have frequent bus travel. After so many miles, you get a card. Can you imagine how pathetic your life would have to be to qualify for one of these prizes? <laughs> Honey, we got the tickets in the mail, a trip around the world by buh, uh, uh, Did you ever ask somebody for directions? You know you asked the wrong person, but you don't have the heart to walk away in the middle of a story that has nothing to do with anything. You see that piece of straw in my skull? I was in a tornado 200 miles an hour, drilled an eight inch piece of straw right in my skull. Go ahead, try and pull it out. Bet you can't go here. Look, man, I don't want to pull a weed out of your head, all right? Go ahead, put your feet up on my chest. You can't get it. Go ahead, swing from it. Go ahead. I love goofing with bums on a street corner. A bum comes up to me, eh, de, 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 de. I like to turn to him, surprise, eh, de, 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 de. hey, that's not fair, that's my act. 
I hate these guys who harass women on the streets. Where do they start this? Do they practice this at home? Hey, mommy, flip over those pancakes, will you? It's not even a compliment. Don't harass a bag lady, these guys. Hey, babe, I'd like to see what's under that third coat, huh? Coming out of my apartment, I see a guy standing in a big trash bin, big trash dumpster. Woman's walking by, he's going, hey, babe, how you doing? Uh, what's the matter, mommy? You can't say hello? What are you, too good to talk to me, huh? <laughs> dip, dip, dip. Like, she's supposed to walk over to the trash bin. Oh, hi. Is all this trash yours? <laughs> How impressive in the bin, too. Oh, I love a boy with a bin, little bin boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> guys crack me up. Some guys, no matter what they look like, they think they should be going out with a model. A guy could be, I hate to use the word, squat. Squat, he could look like a reflection in a car door. One of these guys, these guys, he looks like God just didn't feel like working that day. God grabbed a handful of features, boom, you deal with it. I'm golfing with Peter. You know, these guys, the kind of guys, it looks like Mary Lou Retton's brother, you know? I always wonder, where do they get their pants? They go down in their pants. Excuse me, you got anything in a 68 deformed? Yeah, I need something with little wheels on the ass because my ass scrapes the ground when I walk. Can you help a guy out? I've always done very well with women, I think, because of my sexual guarantee. I guarantee any woman three screaming orgasms a night. I don't know what she does, but I scream like crazy. <laughs> By the fourth time, my throat gets dry. You ever get that? You ever get that? You ever see the face of an orgasmic? It's like... It's one of the highlights of life. Closer a person comes to orgasm, the goofier looking they get. <laughs> Honey, quit the light. <laughs> the bus. <laughs> and of course, there are the sounds of love. The nicer people are, the more jungle-like their noises will be. <laughs> I grew up with a lot of Italian guys. Italians are so obsessed with food. I hadn't seen my uncle in three years. Uncle Tony, how you feeling? Hey, I'm eating. What do you say at this point? Are you chewing your food well? Are you getting a proper balance, big guy? My grandfather died, true story. My grandmother's draped over the coffin. Oh my God, Tony, how could they take him? He was so good, oh my God. She turns to me, did you eat, babe? Come on, I'm making some peppers and eggs real quick. I got a hot plate right here on his feet. He don't mind, God bless him. Look at him, he looks like he's sleeping. Grandpa never wore a wig and mascara. He looks like Rip Taylor all of a sudden. Look like he's sleeping. Bada boom, bada bing, all purpose Italian phrase. They use it for anything. They can fit it in anywhere. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah, I come home from work the other night. My wife's got nothing on the oven. She throws a casserole in. Bada boom, bada bing, we got dinner. <laughs> I go over to the bar. This guy looks at me crooked. Bada boom, bada bing, he's eating fucking wood. <laughs> I come home, my wife's looking good. I'm feeling froggy. I leap. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. We're smoking cigarettes. Forget about it over here. We have a cat named Philippe who has asthma. It's so pathetic. We have a cat with asthma. It's so sad. It's like, <laughs> We take him to the vet. He gets his asthma shot. We're just about to leave. My wife turns to the doctor. She says, you know, sometimes his anal glands get impacted. Oh, by the way, now how she knows this, I have no idea. I know this cat for seven years. I have never heard this sound before. The doctor puts a white latex glove on and starts going like this. The cat, like he knows something wonderful is about to happen. His ears snap back like he's being shot through a wind tunnel. They bring in a sumo wrestler just to hold the cat's back legs down. Doctor takes a running start at my poor kitty. He pops him, wow. Now we got the doctor calling us up drunk four o'clock in the morning. Can you bring the cat down? Maybe I better check him one more time. Or can't you at least just put him on the phone, for God's sakes? Don't you hate when people ask you questions you don't want to answer? A friend of mine says to me, hey, Dom, do I look fat to you? I said, no, not to me, but to everybody else. That's the problem. To me, you're just big bone. I love that big bone cop. You know, I'm not really fat, I'm very big bone. Yeah, isn't that amazing how you have those big fat bones in your ass? Boy, you know what you need? A marrow reduction, that's what you need. It's even worse when people ask you questions, you don't want to tell them the truth because you love them. 
friend of mine says to me, hey, Tom, level me. Is my head too big for my body? <laughs> what am I going to say to this poor bastard? Hey, look at the bright side. You know, a lot of people you can't even recognize from 800 yards. <laughs> but you, it's like a close-up. Every feature, crystal clear. Come here, Jumbo. Who loves you? Who loves you? I love being a comedian. I love being a comedian because you can be honest. Certain occupations you can't be honest. Barber, hairdresser. These guys have to be tactful, diplomatic. Guy goes into a barber shop, all those pictures on the wall. I like to look like him. The barber could never go, listen, you fat pig. He is a male model. You are a human sloth. Do you understand me? Want to look like him? How about if I start by trimming some of your fat face, you porkadelic? You set up all for Meat Magazine, you heaving, humping hog of life. Is this on? Is this thing on? <laughs> Airplane pilots. Airplane pilots can't be honest. Airplane pilot can never go, <laughs> shit, folks, I'm scared. <laughs> you can't be honest with people you love, the family. There's always that one aunt that never, ever has a good picture taken of her. You never have the heart to tell her the reality. So that's a terrible picture. I mean, put that away. It's an embarrassing shot. Everybody looks good except me. You never have the heart to tell her, Aunt Yola, come here, come here. You see that picture? It's exactly what you look like. The good thing is, the smaller version of you, you centerfold for Meat Magazine, you heaving, humping hog of life. You were never this small. You were a fat zygote. You were an embryo with a gut. I happen to have your sonogram. I don't mean that in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? As a fourth grade school teacher, being honest, how brutal this would be. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, Johnny, your son, your only child, the fruit of your loin, is a moron. I have no idea how this kid finds a door to get out of the house in the morning. If I were you, I would waste him and start over. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. You guys have been wonderful. I was very funny. Even I... <laughs> even I didn't always do that well with women. I know you're thinking, bullshit, you supple little hunk. <laughs> Are you kidding, you doll of life? I asked this one girl out. She says, you got a friend? I said, yeah. She said, why don't you go out with him? <laughs> Did you ever get that personal rejection? One time a girl's giving me the walking papers. I'm trying to be cool. I said, what, are you seeing somebody? She says, no. I said, what, you're dating around? I understand. She says, no, I just don't like you. <laughs> I got to the point, I started thinking to myself, you know, dogs have it made. They don't have to go through any of the social protocol we go through. They see somebody they like, they mount them. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Sniff and mount. Imagine if we could do this. You walk into a bar, you see somebody you like, you hook on. Person doesn't even have to turn around. Man and a woman are waiting for a bus. They got a minute to kill. Bada boom, bada bing. Bus comes, no dinner, no movie. You know, I really appreciate the non-smoking in the front. I really do. I hate when people smoke in my face. I mean, I got a nasty habit. I'll admit it, spitting. <laughs> spitting is a disgusting, vile habit, but I would never sit at lunch with somebody. So, uh, how was your day? I had a rough one. <laughs> I had a pretty bad day myself. Well, I have been on The Tonight Show. I've been on Letterman. Not a big deal to me. The only important credit I have, I was on Star Search. Well, let's face it, you gotta be pretty doggone special to make it to that show. Not that I won a few grand national TV exposure, but that I, I met Ed McMahon. 30 years in the business. What do I do? Run up to him and say, hi, Ed. Do I call him Mr. Ed? <laughs> do I call him Mr. Edward McMahon, Mr. E, Mr. Eddie McMahon, Mr. You big, fat, lucky, talentless hump <laughs> kissing Johnny's ass for the last 30 years. You Budweiser sucking, Alpo slinging nothing. What do you do? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> Thank you.